guys, um, as requested, here's my tutorial on the Punch Art Tree Pocket Letter. Um, the tools I used was ATG gun, some double sided tape, my 12 inch trimmer, a 1 inch and a 1 and 3 8 inch punch, any brand will do, a really good pair of detail cutting scissors, a grass die, and I had some lettuce paint dabber which isn't really showing up on the circles um, in this one but did show up on the one that I sent for Easter. So from a 12 by 12 sheet of green cardstock I cut um, at seven and a half inches by ten inches. Unfortunately today I've actually cut it differently but um, I recommend seven and a half by ten inches and then this leftover bit down here I just tore off so that I could die cut my grass from it and then this piece punch my circles and when I die cut my grass I did it so that I wound up previously I had the straight edge on top but I muddled it up this time so that I could then go in with my scissors I could cut off seven and a half inches and go in with my scissors and just snip to create a longer piece of grass that then I could take my 12 inch trimmer and cut a straight edge off like so so I cut, did that all the way along which resulted in this from the longer piece uh, one unfortunate thing is with my die it keeps putting the die number indented in but I just cover it with something else so a nice big pile of die cut grass I don't have a specific number just as much as I can get a lot of circles and away I go for the tree trunk I just sort of picked a spot and roughly hand cut a tree trunk with a branch like so and that would then form my tree trunk right then I oh and I also from blue cardstock I cut a piece that was uh, seven and a half inches by seven inches and then cut that into six pieces of two and a half by three and a half the top layer I just do blue the second layer these will be backing cards the piece of green card stock that I cut at the beginning I tore and then I layered to form my bottom and my middle section and now I've just got to trim that down to two and a half inches long uh, wide for each pocket like so I'm just cutting it at two and a half inches through everything that I've stuck together all my layers of torn green cardstock and then I'm just gonna place them off to my side out of shot in the order they'll go in the pocket and like so so I'll pop that out of the way. So the bottom section is pretty easy. You just pop them in. Oh, I did get it right. <laughs> so for the middle row, I just need to adhere my grass to my blue bit of cardstock so that it's not going to go anywhere apparently I can cut that one a bit smaller but it's okay just because the tree trunk will cover it and it can go in I do like the ATG gun, though it does hurt my hand, so 
for jobs that I don't, for most part I use double sided tape because I just find it better on my hand. But if you don't have hand issues, it's a very affordable way to adhere things together. Sorry for the big crash. Okay. I'm not sure what happened to that one. I'll trim that off later and fix it up. Then my next thing is to stick my trunk down. I just line it up with the bottom of my grassy hilled area and with the side of my pocket letter like so but I want to be able to open and get in so I just grab my scissors and I just trim along where my pocket is carefully like so so it still looks like a whole tree, but I can open and put things in there. Then um, I just attach my grass where I want it and start layering. Um, so I grabbed some gloss glossy accents and I've just run a very fine bead along the bottom edge of my grass so that I can add my grass to the bottom on the outside, but still have space along the top to tuck more grass um, like so just a little bead along the bottom so that I can tuck other tufts of grass in behind it down the track like so and I just keep putting just a little bit on each one and I just build my layers from behind and build my layers in front as I wish just so that it gives that three dimensional depth that I want for my project and I just build as I go and then what I've done with my circles though this is darker cardstock so this particular color doesn't show up as effectively but just to give them a bit of shading I've put a bit of lettuce paint around the edge of each circle. Now when punching out your circles, make sure you do a couple just on the edge of the cardstock so that you've got a nice straight edge for working with. I will finish my grass off later, but I wanna make this video nice and quick for you guys. Um, I might use the ATG for this because that's what I did last time. Um, so I just, Stick my circle down, another circle down, I might put you up there and then I want to make sure that my adhesive doesn't go over this, the openings of my pockets. So I'm being careful with my adhesive placement so that I can just pop open my, um, I can still put things in. Apparently my HEG is running out, I think. <laughs> okay. I shall have to go to double-sided tape, which is what it's here for in case I ran out. So, yeah, just building up layers of leaves along the edge of my tree mixing up some big ones with some little ones and just being only just a small bit of adhesive on each one so that I don't risk adhering over pocket openings I'm just having one of those days where adhesive doesn't want to pop open for me and just tucking them in as I go like making sure my adhesive isn't going over my pocket but tucking in so then I'll add one more and then I'll show you and I'll finish off later and provide a link to, 
I'll, in the description I'll provide a link to the blog post so that you can see the finished project but see how I've got it here where the, the opening is if I then fold my pocket letter the way it will go into the envelope along the seams of my openings I can actually get in I can see that I got my adhesive slightly wrong there so I'm just going to adjust it like so and fold it over like that so when I want to pop things in the pockets I can pop things in the pockets and when my the person receiving this gets it they can fold it down and still have it looking pretty in their album so I hope you guys found that informative and enjoy the finished project on my blog and I will catch up with you again next time. Thank you, bye. And here is the finished punch art tree and grassy hill. So I've just got to get Mr. E to add the Pokemon that he wants to add to it because he actually wanted to me to teach him how to do this so that he could make two for um, some friends that he's sending po Pokemon pocket letters to. But there's a close-up of the layered grass. Not quite as good as the Easter one, but I'm still pretty happy with it. And yeah, so there's the tree and you can still get into all the pockets and it still looks like a complete tree when it's in an album. Thank you for watching.